ever feel like the words stock market and retirement are in a whole different language? You're not alone. Investing can seem like a secret club with fancy jargon and sky-high entry fees. But what if I told you there's a simpler way, a path paved by the wisdom of a billionaire named Warren Buffett? Welcome to Financial Literacy. Here, we are dedicated and passionate about bringing you nothing but honest and straightforward facts about your money. We will help you take control of your finances and get you to the next level. Beginners or experienced, this is your one-stop shop for all things financial literacy. In this video, we will look at Warren Buffett's guide to turning your $10,000 into millions. Imagine turning a measly $10,000 into millions, not through risky bets or overnight schemes, but through patience, common sense investing. While it sounds almost too good to be true, this surprisingly works for the likes of you. I'll give you 5 things you should do to start your journey. And it's that simple, so if you're ready, then let's start the video. Number 1. Warren Buffett's Golden Rule Buy what you know I'm guessing you have been searching and searching the internet for tips and tricks on how to start investing. Well, you can end your search now. Warren Buffett has one flavor on his menu. Keep it simple, silly. And how do we do that? Just buy what you know. Confusing, I know, but let me simplify it for you. Forget boring numbers and fancy jargon. Stocks aren't just squiggly lines on a screen. They're like choosing your favorite candy at the store. Pick businesses you get, the ones that make sense even to a kid. Sounds confusing with terms like amortization. Buffett says, ditch it. If you can't explain it to a six-year-old, it's too complicated anyway. And it's not all roses, guys. Buffett's had his share of facepalm moments. Remember the shoe firm owned by Dexter? None at all? Well, that is acceptable. And Warren's bank account doesn't. The victories that have more than made up for it, however, are Coca-Cola and Seas Candies. After all, who wouldn't want to be able to navigate a formal gala full of bewildering jargon and forced politeness? Rather than wind up in cozy, familiar circles where everyone speaks the same language. Investing in something you understand feels incredibly rewarding, even though stepping outside of our comfort zone occasionally has its benefits. As such, it makes sense to give preference to mentors who share our beliefs and values when seeking advice, even though they may not always outperform rivals. We may foster a sense of clarity and connection in our investment decisions by concentrating on relatable winners like Buffett. Number 2. The Art of Patience, Hold and Grow after following Buffett's advice to buy what you know with a significant amount of money, you find yourself wanting to make changes to it out of fear that you will lose out on the next big thing. Hold your horses there, mate! Are you constantly buying and selling? That's just another word for an expensive hobby. But hey, if bird watching or knitting is not your thing, you can burn your cash trading every day. You just won't end up like Mr. Buffett. His secret? Simple. His patience is completely outstanding. And it's something you might want to inherit as well. It is impossible to time the market, much like predicting who will win the next Masked Singer competition. While occasional good fortune may occur, you should look elsewhere for long-term success. Instead, consider the power of long-term investing. Imagine purchasing shares in Coca-Cola and Apple decades ago and simply holding them. No frantic trading, just patient trust. That's the Buffett approach at its finest, and the results speak for themselves. So breathe deep, relax, and let your investments work their magic. Building wealth isn't about frantic activity, it's about intelligent long-term strategies. This isn't laziness, it's smart investing. Number 3. Diversification – Not putting all your eggs in one basket Remember that science teacher who warned you about not putting all your eggs in one basket? Well, diversification is like that, but for your grown-up money. 
It's like spreading your cash around so you don't trip and lose it all, even if you're a bit of a financial klutz. But seriously, how many stocks are enough to achieve that sweet spot of diversification? Is it 10? 20? 100? Well, our investing sensei, Warren Buffett, doesn't necessarily recommend a specific number. Instead, he suggests investing in a handful of great businesses you truly understand and not spreading your investments too thin. It is about quality over quantity, my friend. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't have the time or expertise to research and pick individual stocks like Buffett. Good news! We understand your pain and that's where the magic of fund investments comes in. Think of them as the multitaskers of diversification, aka everyone's hero. By investing in funds like index funds or ETFs, you're essentially buying a share in a basket of stocks, giving you instant diversification with minimal effort. So just remember, diversify, but also know your limits. To avoid being confused with your investment basket and to save time, think about investing in funds rather than going on a stock buying spree in the name of diversity. Number 4. Avoiding the trap of debt Debt. Just the thought of it gives you the heebie-jeebies, right? Same here. It's like facing the wrath of 10 of your mothers when you demolish her beloved rose garden. But say, have you ever wondered what the great oracle of Omaha thinks about debt? Spoiler alert, he's not a fan. Leveraging and borrowing money to invest might seem like a flashy way to boost your returns, but it's actually like riding a roller coaster. Debt isn't all bad though. It's like playing a strategic game, not navigating a minefield. You can use it to your advantage, but you need to be careful and make smart choices. Think of it like picking the right tools in operation. Choose wisely and you might even build something impressive. And number 5. Adapting to changing times For years, Warren Buffett was like a seasoned oak in a field of day trading rabbits. Steady, confident in the power of traditional companies. But then, something shifted. Like a wise old owl peering through his glasses, he saw the tech buffet beckoning. Yep, Warren Buffett is indeed playing with the tech industry. From giving flashing screens the side eye, he now holds large chunks of apple pie. The stock, not the dessert, obviously. Don't be deceived though, he's not giving a straight swipe to every new startup that winks at him. This man has taste. Warren Buffett demonstrates that age is nothing more than a number when it comes to adjusting to the digital revolution. By striking a balance between the inquisitiveness of a youngster and the discipline of a Zen master. He is a living example of how intelligence may be retained long after retirement. Buffett's mental acuity maintains him not only financially stable, but also psychologically sharp, much like an old dog learning new tricks. So, let's raise our glasses to never getting too old to learn something new, and to smartly invest in those newfangal technologies that the kids these days won't shut up about. Cheers to evolution! That's everything you need to know. You can start investing now, but hey, becoming a millionaire ain't a circus trick. It's legit, and just follow everything you've learned from this video. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our following videos.